Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabans here to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We we'll cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we'll give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got a hell of a show uh, in store for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, uh, today we got a hilarious show. I'm sure you saw the title. I was actually cracking up reading the title as we're introducing uh, the show um, here. So, uh, as you guys know, during the Olympic run for Team USA's men's basketball team, there were some controversial moments. And a lot of it had to do with the substitution patterns and the coaching decisions, the strategy of Steve Kerr and his coaching staff, which was comprised of NBA coaches and Eric Spolstra uh, and Tyron Lu. Some people were criticizing the strategy. Uh, that they were using and some some people were criticizing their substitution patterns and one of the main criticisms of the team is the lack uh, uh the, uh, the lack of use of jason tatum right a lot of people were upset with steve kerr and steve kerr and his coaching staff a lot of people were calling out uh the team uh, i even heard that at one point draymond green was calling out steve kerr's coaching decisions i'm like okay isn't that your coach in real life, like in the NBA, that was a bit strange. Uh, but one of the people that was critical of this team was Charles Barkley. I remember him talking about uh, Joel Embiid showing up, being overweight, and he was also upset at the way um, they were handling the Jason Tatum situation, right? By them not playing him, I think him going two games where he didn't play any minutes at all. Uh, and a lot of people were upset with that. So Charles Barkley went out there and voiced his opinions. So what happened, uh, there was a show on ESPN where they were reacting to the comments that uh, Charles Barkley made. And one of the people reacting to what Charles Barkley said was Kendrick Perkins, right? So Kendrick Perkins put out some statements in response to Charles Barkley. And then Charles Barkley was recently on the Dan Lebertar show where, excuse me, the Dan, uh, yeah, the Dan Lebertar show where they brought up what Kendrick Perkins had to say, and he absolutely just slam dunked him and flame broiled him. But to give you guys some context of what was said initially, what we'd like to do now is play the original comments from Kendrick Perkins on ESPN. So you guys will at least hear that. So it'll make more sense listening to Charles Bar Barkley's response to that. So take a listen to Draymond Green. I mean, Draymond, Kendrick Perkins here. Hey, look. Charles Barkley, you know, one of the greatest power forwards to ever play the game of basketball, one of the greatest players to ever touch the damn basketball. And look, one of the greatest TV personalities ever. But this was just an asinine way of talking about Team USA and what's been going on for us them representing our country. Look, this team has been balling and they are going to get battle tested, right? The game has got has become global. Right, you got Europeans. The uh, they're starting to catch. They have caught up with us. When you think about who they, who Team USA had to battle against yesterday, Jokic is the best player in basketball. Right, they had to find a way to grind it out. They earned that win. That was the best game that I've seen in basketball in the last six or seven years. To be honest with you. So you heard what Kendrick Perkins had to say, right? So these were the comments that Charles Barkley is responding to. So before we even get into what Charles had to say in response to Kendrick Perkins, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Game Time. Game Time is an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets faster and easier. For example, I am super excited about the upcoming MLB games. With Game Time tickets, I can easily pick the best tickets for me. I love that I can choose between different deals. I have the option to select the cheaper deal, the best option deal, or my favorite, the flash deal. The flash deal gives me the option to find discounts that I can only find on game time. Once I select the ticket I want, I can see view my seat. And it's not just restricted to baseball. I can also look for the best ticket deals for other sports like football, the NBA, concerts, comedy, or other theater shows. Included in my purchase, I also have a 24 hour return guarantee, a lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection. So take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CLNS 
for $20 off your first purchase. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we'd like to do now is like to play what Chuck had to say, which I thought was hilarious. And I also want you guys to listen to some of his reasoning behind his criticism of Steve Kerr and the coaching staff. Take a listen to Charles Barkley here. You said you were critical of Kerr and you said that they should not, that team should not be tested. And Kendrick Perkins said that was an asinine take that, of course, they well, should first be of all, tested. Don't, listen, don't, don't bring up, bring him up a guy who averaged five points a game. I'm not going to stoop to his level. You average five <laughs> points a game, shut the hell up. Um, Dan, let me ask you a question. Who was the second best player on Serbia? Uh, no, buddy. You're look. I don't think they should have been tested either. Uh, no, but I, my question was <laughs> number one. They got Joker, but the second best player on their team was Bogdanovich. Does Bogdanovich make the United States Olympic team? Under no circumstances he make the Olympic team. Um, I think they played too slow uh, because you could see what Joker was doing. He was milking the clock. He would take the ball out of bounds and roll it up the court. They they turned it they turned a forty minute game basically into like a thirty five to thirty seven minute game. So they let them play slow. I think they should have played a lot faster. And you know that every time we say something now, people go crazy. There's no reason for him not to play Jason Tatum. Uh, Jason Tatum would have been the second best player on Serbia. Probably would have been the best player on France. For him not to get any minutes in two games, come on, man, that wasn't right. That wasn't fair. Uh, you, you, if, you, if you go into the Olympics, you want to play. You want to play. So um, I was disappointed Jason didn't get to play. I was disappointed Halliburton, especially early. Like, if you want to show in your rotation in the last couple of games, that's fine. But them guys dedicated their summer to the United States to go over there and not get to play. I didn't like that at all. So you heard what Charles Barkley had to say, right? He was just basically like, um, you know, you can't talk to me uh, if you're a dude that only, what is it, average five points per game. You can't talk to me. I'm a top 75 guy and all of those different things, right? He basically just uh, pulled rank on Kendrick Perkins now. What do I think about what Chuck had to say there? First of all, I think that Team USA embarrassed Jason Tatum. Uh, he even came out and spoke about it. We did a show reacting to some of his comments where he was talking about what it was like, uh, you know, going through that experience, right? How it was humbling for him, how it was difficult for him and all of that. We discussed this on the channel. If you haven't seen it, we dropped that video about a day or two ago. You can just go check it out on the channel there, right? But to me, they disrespected him. For those of you who may be unaware of this, Jason Tatum was the only American NBA player this year, the only American NBA player this year to make the all first NBA team. He was the only one. Yes, you heard me right. Jason Tatum was the only American basketball player to make the all NBA team. If you listen to Charles Barkley there, it almost seemed it almost seemed as if he was making a case for Jason Tatum being a top five player in the NBA. He was making a case for that, right? Obviously, he didn't win the finals MVP. Jalen Brown won the finals MVP, but Jason Tatum had the stats. But Jalen Brown had some very, very impactful moments for the Boston Celtics in the NBA finals. Needless to say, he's a great player. In terms of Charles Barkley shutting down uh, Kendrick Perkins, this is, I, I guess this is what happens in the world of sports because I've seen Shaq try to pull rank on Charles Barkley, not as a top 75 guy, but as a guy that won multiple championships and you guys know Charles Barkley never won the championship, right? But Charles has also been one of those people that uh, uh, um, um, made the phrase famous of, you know, being a bus driver, referring to Kevin Durant. He was like, there's some people driving the bus and there's some people at the back of the bus. He's like, you're the man when you're the one driving the bus and winning championships. That was one of the reasons Charles Barkley um, gave Kobe Bryant a lot of his props. When Kobe came back and won those championships without Shaq, he really elevated him in his all-time rankings because he was able to prove that he could do it as the main guy, right? That was That's a big thing for him. 
But in case of in the case of him just dismissing Kendrick Perkins, I think it's par for the course, man. This is how <laughs> this is how these guys be. This is how these dudes be talking to each other, man. Nothing surprises me here. Uh, that's just the, the you know, that's the NBA talk, right? The way basketball players speak to one another. So what I want to know from the audience is simply this. Whose side are you on with this back and forth? Are you on Charles Barkley's side or are you on Kendrick Perkins side? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you on the next show. Peace.